a cold morning and we've edit, added our metal mouse guards. And there we have a yellow jacket trying to get in the hive. <laughs> confused by the metal but they seem to eventually work their way in not much activity in the hives because they're kind of bedded down for the winter it was very cold this morning but they're in there and they're happy just a little some sugar They still have a little of their pollen or a winter patty, so that's good. It was mid-November and time to do a check on the hives to see, um, well, you know, where they stood food-wise. The front of the hives actually had two reducers, a wooden entrance reducer on the inside and the metal mouse guards on the outside. I had been watching the bees come and go and was kind of surprised that even though we had had a couple of very cold freezes, um, nothing was alive, that some of them were finding some pollen to come back with. So I took a walk around the neighborhood to see where on earth they could be getting pollen. And lo and behold, I found that some landscapers nearby had put in some chrysanthemums for winter. And guess what? The bees had found the chrysanthemums and were getting what they could out of them. That kind of was interesting. The hive wraps had been on for about two weeks now. And as I said, November is pretty volatile temperature-wise hard freezes at night, uh, some freezing temperatures during the day, and other days that were a little warm where the bees were out buzzing about. So I had started these hives off each with a winter patty, which is kind of like a pollen patty except it does not have pollen and it just has fats and minerals and vitamins, and a sugar cake. So it was time to go in and uh, put new sugar cakes in and put new patties in. The hives varied around a bit, uh, but this one here, for instance, consumed everything that I had put in up there, so time to put some more stuff in. It was warm enough that the bees were not in a cluster formation. In fact, it looked like it would, you know, during the summertime. They were all over the place. I gave them a little smoke primarily just to drive them down off the top of the frame so that I could put the stuff in there. I didn't want to squish too many. They certainly were docile. They didn't need smoke to calm them down or anything like that. It just made it a little bit easier to throw the stuff in the top of the hive. I probably didn't even really need to suit up, but with it being in the 50s, I was a little chilly, so... Normally this suit overheats me during the summer, so I put it on basically to stay warm. Uh, you never know. Sometimes they get a little fussy, but they were very calm today. The sugar cakes I had just made up that morning, so they were still kind of soft and crumbly. But, uh, you know, as, as the water sets in there, they'll harden up, and the bees seem to be happy with it. You don't want to pour granulated sugar in the hive. They'll just remove it as if it's debris. But if it's, if it's crystallized together in cakes, uh, they, they eat it instead, which is good. And, of course, the winter patties. So my hope is uh, that, you know, I can just let these guys do their thing probably for another few weeks. I'll, I'll go in in early December and uh, see, just, you know, peek through the top to see if um, uh, yeah. the food supplies are good. Enjoy, my friends. If they're not, I'll put more patties in. And um, come January uh, into February, I'll probably go in there again. And at that point in time, I'll start switching over to the regular pollen patties. Um, we're using the ones from Better Bee that have a, a lot of pollen in them, the global pollen patties. Because they actually will start uh, producing an upswing in brood in early February. And the hope is that by March you have, have good brood production going on. But for the most part, you want to let them be during the winter. Uh, every time you open the hive up, it cools things down. And I'm sure they're not too appreciative. But... You want to take advantage of that occasional warm day, and today was one of those occasional warm days. Once you get past the potential of a winter freeze-out killing the hive, the biggest thing that can kill them is starvation, and that starvation most often occurs between January and April. That's the time you really want to start feeding. If you listen carefully, you'll hear clicking. Yes, these are the same bees that just love to dig at the styrofoam, and they're digging at the styrofoam insulation that surrounds the hive. Who knows? 
So good day and good night, little bees. I'll see you in a few weeks.